Hi guys, so in this video we are going to talk about two very important tests of ENT that is Weber's test and Rennie's test. So these two tests are the basic tests to assess hearing loss in any patient and this we have to know at any cost. Talk about the Rennie's test first. So uh, I am sorry about the diagram but just imagine these to be the tuning forks. Alright, so for Rennie's test we are going to check air conduction and bone conduction. So what these mean is that in air conduction uh, we are going to hear some sounds from the air that is going to get transmitted through the pinna and the external auditory canal into the middle ear and then into the cochlea and this is going to go through the cranial nerve 8 into the brain, right? So this is air conduction and in bone conduction that means uh, the sound now is going to transmit it through some kind of uh, some uh, through some uh, part of the skull bones okay it could be any part of the skull bones usually the mastoid bone all right that which is right behind the ear so that's what we're going to test in the Rennie's test so we'll put the tuning fork first across his ear and ask him if he's able to hear it so that would be ac and then we'll take the tuning fork and put it uh, over some skull bone which is usually mastoid and that would be BC. So if the patient is able to hear air conduction better than bone conduction which uh, uh, that, that would be the normal one right because uh, obviously when the sound is right across your ear you are obviously going to uh, be, be able to hear it better than when the you know tuning fork is placed a little farther from the ear right. So, uh, if it is normal, that is if it is a, if AC is greater than BC, then the patient's hearing is absolutely normal. But if the patient says bone conduction is better than air conduction, that means there is some issue in the transmission, right? So, there is some is issue here across the ear and that is why he uh, the patient is unable to hear this here air conduction better. So, that would mean the patient probably has a conductive hearing loss right because there is some problem in the conduction here so to remember you can just uh, think of rene under the pinna so under the pinna as in the pinna this is the pinna or the auricle right so you're going to put the uh, tuning fork here over across the pinna and under the pinna and then comes Web weber's test so in weber's test we're going to place the tuning fork above uh, you know over his forehead so weber upper weber over weber over like that Okay, so uh, usually or normally uh, he uh, the patient should be able to hear equally on both the sides, right? Because there are there are sensory neural hearing, uh, there are, there are sensory there are nerves here, right? The eighth cranial nerves which are gonna take the you know sound here uh, sound transmissions and they're gonna send it to the ear, right? So that should be equal. That will be normal. But uh, say there is some problem here. This cranial nerve here is damaged. Then the patient, the sound, uh, sound is not going to be transmitted from the you know tuning fork or the brain into the head, uh, sorry, into the ear, right? So that would mean this patient has a sensory neural hearing loss over this side, right? So this side is going to be normal. Therefore, uh, when we put a tuning fork above his forehead, he is only going to hear on the normal side. The affected side, he is not going to be able to hear. So that is sensory neural hearing loss on the affected side. So in the next test. First of all, uh, the tuning fork is going to be put over his mastoid bone and then his air, right ear. So if air conduction is greater than bone conduction, that would mean the patient has normal hearing. Alright. And this is Weber's test where the, uh, you know, the tuning fork is going to be put over his forehead to check which side the patient is able to hear better or if the if the uh, you know he if he is able to hear on both the sides equally that would be normal if he is only able to hear one side then that would mean the other side the patient probably has a sensory neural hearing loss all right so this is all about uh, weber's and Rennie's test thank you